All right, so welcome to this new series that uh, Eric actually thought of. Uh, thank God he did, because we make calls every single day for about two hours to a lot of homeowners. And one of the biggest things that we've noticed is that a lot of these homes come off the market and we want to bring these homes that are not on the market to the rest of, say, the public. It could be for rent. It could be for sale. It could be buying. It could be investment opportunities. And, you know, we're going to be going live every single Thursday and talking about this week's top conversations, top homes that are off the market. I'll start. Uh, this is a home. <laughs> Do you want to Go start? Ahead. No, 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 First off be market Vinatari's opportunity, it better it be off. a good one. It Make better it be a good, good one. one. Yep. Uh, so this is actually a home in on the Upper East Side. Very well known building, great location, incredible service, multiple doormen at the ready and ready to go. Um, it's currently rented out, very quiet place, which is great, especially in New York City. It's a one bedroom, very large, pretty well renovated. Uh, it faces the back of the building, so it's away from the street. So Upper East Side, two bedroom, I'm sorry, one bedroom, and it's around eight to 825, you know, as a condo with low monthlies with a tenant in place. It's one of those things that if it's an investor, especially now, a lot of people are coming back as a pieter, a condo, you could buy for any means, any anything that you want. So that's yeah, my- well, that, that is definitely one of my favorite buildings. And I think you said uh, two bed because we went to a two bedroom there uh, and yeah. met uh, an owner with an apartment on the market not a few days ago. So yeah. uh, big price decrease on that one, by the way. <clears throat> yeah, no, and there's a lot of active sellers in okay. that building. And a lot of the yeah. times they don't have it on the market for any sort of reason. They're living there, they're tired, they didn't get the number that they wanted, they rented it out. I mean, that's where we came up with this idea is because a lot of the time in this tougher market, they've either rented it out already or it is, you know, change of plans. Yeah. So that gets to my off market opportunity, which is a beautiful four bedroom on 65th and Park, one of the best locations. And why did they take it off the market on this one is because they weren't getting the right number. So they decided to renovate. You know, everybody wants move in ready these days. Yep. They don't want to have to do any work with the supply chain issues, with all those problems, with co-op approval. Co approval. Yeah. So, you know, he actually told me that he owned another apartment in the building oh. and it was a uh, too good to be true offer. He couldn't turn it down. So he got the best deal on his current apartment during COVID, sold it, bought a place out in the Hampton. Then he decided to start uh, putting this other one on the market. Wow. Now it's being renovated and, yeah. you know, even if you were open to doing a renovation, now would be the time to slip in there and get to work on it with him. And yeah. uh, you already have the approved plans. And so. you know that if the renovation comes in and it's say 500K or 600K, it's gonna be more than that. Oh you yeah. Know, it's, it's not, it, renovation costs, once you go through it, especially on a large home that you're talking about, you said it's a four bed? Yeah. Four bed, then that's, you're, you're well over 600,000 if you're doing it and right. They want to be paid for the work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because oh, yeah. you got to get the approval by the state, by the co-op. Then you got to bring in the contractor to make sure that they're get, getting the plans on a four bedroom. You really have to time everything. You have to really get a good general contractor, a good GC in there. And to be honest, that that is a deal if you want to get it before the renovation at a better price. Yeah. And, you know, I've been looking around with a lot of buyers who, of course, they were like everybody else. They're saying, you know, this needs to be done. I yep. wish this was changed. And I can't help but think like, wow, as a seller agent, I could just recommend that they put some, you know, new tile on the black backsplash or change out the vanity mirror. And all of a sudden the value of the apartment goes up so much more as opposed to the buyers going in and saying, I wish this was done. This was done. You yeah. know, they uh, they see, wow, this is ready to go. Yeah. I could live here. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's funny. The one that I was talking about, once I sent the video to the owner that we took and that we're going to send out to buyers, she actually was critiquing her apartment. Ironically, she's like, you know what? It actually is better if this was done and things like that. And when you're living there, it's hard to remove yourself. Right. That's why when we come in, we say, actually, even though it's going to cost five or $10,000, to be honest, you're going to get 50 or 60 extra thousand. You know, the, it could be small things or it could be major things. A small thing would be new appliances, which is, you know, you could do four or $5,000. Obviously you can go up from there. 
and completely transform, say, white appliances or small appliances, older appliances, whatever the case is. So the last one. Yeah, that well, just thinking about that, you know, a lot of people pay to stage. And yes, yeah. staging apartments staging is very is important. But uh, yeah, it, it, it could be so expensive. Why not put 10, on some, you know, stick on tile backsplash as opposed to, or changing out a few light fixtures. Yeah. You know, things that aren't even going to cost as much as staging and are going to make a huge difference. One small one, ironically enough, was reglazing the, uh, re oh, yeah. the, the tub and put it in caulking the bathroom. And I think it was only $1,200 or $1,500. And that alone takes the buyer away from this eyesore. Yeah, this, of, this is what I need to do immediately. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. It's like, no, focus on how nice the bathroom is, not the worn out tub. And once you reglaze it, you don't have to repaint it because it's a porcelain. And then the wall, you know, that just wears down in any apartment, you yeah. know, in, in, a, in a shower. So those are small things, you know, you got to bring in a professional that kind of evaluates it. The last property, you know, we're going to be going live with actually probably five to 10 apartments sometimes, you know, because we're making conversations and contact with a lot of these sellers that they couldn't get the price or they listed with another agent. It's now off the market. So this one's actually downtown on Wall Street. I actually uh, used to work on Wall Street. That was my first real estate job at Platinum Properties. I think it was 30 Wall Street. So I know the building, I know the area. I know it's like spaghetti to most people because it's not in rows, but this building is absolutely phenomenal. Once you walk in, it's just, you're in another dimension. It's, it's, it's pre-war, the ceilings in the lobby, it's just exquisite. Honestly, it's just, it's, it has a huge wow factor. And this is a great place. There's a tenant in place. They can leave at any time. Again, it's also a condominium. It's, it's, you know, to be honest, I think it's going to be a great second home. Or if you want to put someone in there that's maybe going to college in the city, it's, it's really for a lot of people. Condominiums in the city are such a premium, you know, especially when you're dealing with co-ops and renovation. This one is renovated, which is great. And it's a one bedroom and it's under a million condo. You know, it's, over 900 square feet too, right? Yeah. So, yeah, you know, place. that makes me think, we were talking about on the news, how they're going to take these old office buildings yeah. and uh, convert them into condos. And, you know, you think about what those office buildings look like over in Midtown East. They're these like, you know, 50, nasty, 60s gross era. office yeah. buildings. That Green glass. Very hard to be able to convert those into <laughs> residential <laughs> homes. But downtown in the financial district, you know, they took nice lofty banks and yep. they turned them into these Stunning. beautiful loft apartments. I mean, it was, uh, those are going to come back. Yeah. Right? So that is a great deal down there in the financial district. Yeah, there's so many buildings, you know, 45 Wall Street, 37 Wall Street, 67 Wall Street. You know, these are just buildings that were gigantic with the beautiful, just how they made lobbies is I just wish how they oh, made yeah. lobbies now. It's obviously too expensive. You have marble everywhere. You have big limestone blocks. And, you know, yes, people are like, oh, it's smaller windows. You know, it, yeah, because we invented big glass windows. Now you don't know where to put the TV and then privacy and all these other things. It's, it's funny, the trade-off between the old and the new. And there's tons of uh, reasons to buy an off-market apartment. Yeah. So we'll go over that in another video yeah, be a about, video. you know, how... Uh, and why to buy something off market. There's I mean, there, a lot of There's benefits. some advantages, but as a seller agent, of course, we'd always say you gotta put it on the market to get the highest price. Yeah, yeah, if you're, if you're looking to explore off market opportunities, I think we're up to about 40 or 50 right now, and it's growing rapidly. As you go into the winter months, homes start coming off the market, they wait for the spring, and this is, as a buyer, this is when you strike. Yeah. There's no, there's, there's no seller agent, there's no, uh, competition from other buyers they're willing to maybe sell it at a lower price because they went through the process of maybe leaving the apartment while it's on the market or they you know they had a tenant in place the tenant had to leave while they're showing it so are interest rates going up <laughs> <laughs> what'd you say november i mean I, that's all i hear about these days so. yeah all right good well, start next uh next wednesday we'll come out with a actually next thursday we'll come out with the the next off-market opportunities on tuesday we'll do the hottest lie or the hottest uh, news stories for that week. So have an amazing day and we'll see.